Hey, 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 welcome my wonderful Scorpios. How are you guys doing today? Thank you guys so much for clicking on my channel. My name is Kamoy. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for the love, for the support, for scheduling your appointments, for the donations, um, for the comments. Oh my God, for the comments. Y'all are hilarious. I love y'all. Okay. Now, if you are a cross watcher, also welcome. Before I begin, I just want to say, keep in mind that energy is fluid. Okay, the energy could be your energy or the energy that you are interacting with. So, which means it could be interchangeable. So, you want to place the energy where it fits in your situation. Okay, now you take what you need and you leave what you do not. All right, my lovelies, these videos are for my light workers, my empaths, anyone on their spiritual journey. If you feel like you're spiritually ascending, if you just feel like there's some shit going on and you can't quite put your finger on it, you may be able to find some information here. If you're into numerology, or astrology you may be able to find something here also if you're into signs and symbols from the cause of motivation guidance messages from your guides and your ancestors and your angels you may be able to find something here also okay all right guys let's see what is going on in this reading for you guys we will be doing a true poll for you but we are definitely going to start off with your uh, two chakra cards to see exactly what you need to pay attention to in this reading. All right, we're thanking our angels, we're thanking our guides, we are thanking our higher self, we are thanking the divine masculine and feminine energy in the atmosphere that is here to help guide, protect, encourage, motivate, and inspire us to take action when it is time. Okay, my loves. Okay. Alrighty, let's see what we got here today, my loves. Okay, you got workaholic, okay, and you got victim. So, workaholic is throat chakra work, okay, and I don't remember the code word for this, so I am going to look that up for you, but when your throat chakra shows up, this is all about how you express yourself, okay, uh, and this is all about taking the time to sit back and enjoy the things that you've created, okay, or maybe for some of you, you may need to paint a new picture, uh, because the old picture that you are stepping out from or the old picture that you're in, you no longer like or enjoy, okay, Alrighty, then you also have heart chakra work, which is all about your uh, love, forgiveness, as well as compassion. And you have victim here. And when victim shows up, it's asking for maturity, okay? This is talking about maturity. All right, my love. So we're going to jump in to your reading and see exactly what the message is pertaining to your throat chakra, workaholic, okay? Painting a new picture. As well as taking the time to enjoy what you've created and maturity. Um, the victim card. What is it about love, compassion, and forgiveness that you need to paint a new picture in? Okay. All right. Let's take a quick look and see. What do you want my wonderful Scorpios to know? I'm a Scorpio sun, y'all. So let's get into this. Okay. Scorpio sun. Uh, Gemini moon. Uh, my Venus is in Sagittarius and my Ascendant is Leo. Okay. All right, my lovelies. We do have the King of Pentacles on the board. So it's kind of feeling like security and, security and abundance and discipline um, and control and power is at hand. Okay. All right. So that's what's at hand right now. That's the overall truth. It's the King of Pentacles energy. For some of you, this could be maybe um, home security. Maybe some of you are looking for a new home. Maybe some of you um, are walking away from a situation where you have to um, create a new living situation for yourself. Okay. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus. Okay. In this energy. Let's take a quick look and see. So that's the truth. We got King of Pentacles energy on the board. Let's see what is my wonderful Scorpio energy. What is Scorpio's energy? What is Scorpio's energy? Okay, Scorpio. You got the Seven of Pentacles on the board. Okay. Ooh, clarified by the Death card. So you got Scorpio energy on the board too. Death card is all about Scorpio. Okay. All right, clarify their energy, clarify the energy of the person, place, or thing that my wonderful Scorpios are interacting with. Clarify the energy that Scorpio is interacting with. Clarify the energy 
that Scorpio is interacting with. Clarify the energy that Scorpio is interacting with. Okay, interacting. A little bit more. Okay. Hmm. All right, so we got the Fool card, my wonderful Scorpios, and we got the Eight of Pentacles showing up on the board. Hmm, Scorpio. Okay, let's get into this, my lovelies. All right, so first, let's let's get your code words so we can kind of unlock this mystery that we got going on here. Okay, so we got workaholic, right, y'all? Okay. Workaholic code word is fun, talent, and friends. Wow, let me find out. We're about to enter into a new phase, y'all. I'm excited. I'm so excited because I feel like shit. We've been going some fucking heavy ass energy for a while now. So I am ready to like break out. I'm single. I'm ready to, yeah, I'm ready. I'm feeling this energy in the board right now, okay? Let's just see what we got to work with. All right, my lovelies. Okay. All right, so we got the Seven of Pentacles here clarified by the Death card. All right, my lovelies. Now, with this Seven of Pentacles energy clarified, okay, and, and then right now we know that security is on your mind, okay? Whether that be security in your finances, whether that be security in your home, okay? Whether that be security um, job-wise, you know, security is on your mind. Abundance is on your mind. Your money is on your mind. Um, being grounded in this third dimensional realm is on your mind. A lot of you are doing your spiritual work and tapping into that higher self, okay? Um, and really manifesting some shit, okay? So with Workaholic, is saying it's time for you to sit back and have some fun and really tap into your talents. Now, the victim card asks you to be mature, okay? Because once you plant this acorn and it grows in solid ground, it grows into a very strong and grounded tree. So this is asking you to see maturity in things, okay? So you may have to let some things go, all right? Now, Whatever you may have feel, um, because, you know, seven, this seven of pentacles energy, like I said, right? Whatever you may have feel that you've had to persevere through, right? You do have the death call coming in saying transformation is happening in your finances, okay? You will have transformation happen in your finances. There's new beginners coming in in your finances. There's going to be some change that's going on in your finances. Let's take a look and see. Ooh, baby, I like that shit. Cause I'm telling y'all right now, I've been on my manifestation shit. I, I don't know if I tell y'all, I, I don't know what video I said this in, but y'all need to get up on some Reverend Ike, okay? And for those of you that really know me, know like I don't do like the religion thing. I don't even do the church thing because where two or more is gathered, we are having church. Like right now, we having church, y'all, okay? If you watching this video and I'm, you know, and yeah, we having church, just me and you, okay? So the point I'm trying to make, my lovelies, okay? Okay. Is that you have some major wonderful changes coming in. Y'all need to get up on some Reverend Ike if you're having some problems manifesting money. You can find like 10 minute videos on him. Okay. And yeah, he's all about subconscious work. All right. Reprogramming your mind. So yeah, get up on some Reverend Ike, my Scorpios. Okay. Mmm. For some of you here, it's saying some of you got some things on your mind that you can't let go of, okay? Because you got the Six of Swords in reverse, okay? Some of you are still carrying baggage. Clarify this. Clarify this for my wonderful Scorpio. You're trying to bring in new beginners in their finances, and you're asking them to persevere and have fun and time to grow up, right? So why, what they holding on to that they not moving on from? What my wonderful Scorpio is holding on to that they need? Mm. You got the five of cups in reverse, my loves. Okay. Hmm. Clarified by the king of cups. Okay. All right, my lovelies. Some of you may be feeling very moody. Okay. Um... 
um, maybe have been a little bit um, volatile with your, um, your with your emotions, okay? Uh, and let me just say something, because we've been going through major shifts in uh, in the planets, okay, my lovelies. Uh, this eclipse that just happened back in July could have probably brought in a lot of changes for you guys and stirred up some things, because. Um, this Six of Swords energy is saying you're holding on to something, right? Maybe mentally, right? But it's kind of like you're in a position here where you're ready to move on emotionally, but it's still in your mind, okay? Now, the question is, because you do have um, King of Cups energy in reverse, you still may have someone that may be emotionally manipulating you, or you could still be in a place where you feel move, um, just moody and your emotions are still a little volatile. Clarify what's going on with my Scorpio's emotion. Because mentally you're holding on to something. Emotionally you're ready to let go. But it's still a little like mm, in the atmosphere. Okay. That's clarified by the Four of Pentacles, my love. Okay. Yeah, you... Okay, you, you just... That's that. you just kind of moody right now because you still, not, it, it's a money thing with you. You're thinking about your stability and you're thinking about um, uh, maybe even um, security at this point, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. You got the Knight of Wands in reverse here, clarified by the Queen of Swords. Wands energy is all about your intuition, my wonderful um, Scorpios. Now, some of you could be definitely feeling frustrated, all right? Maybe even feeling that things are, are, are delayed and not coming in, right? Um, you're going to have to change your perception on this, though, my lovelies. You're going to have to change your perception on this, okay? You're going to have to change your perception on this. This Queen of Swords energy right here is saying she's a quick thinker. She clearly thinks objectively. Like she, she doesn't bring in all of the emotional stuff. And because you are a water sign, we can tend to get caught up in our feelings. And especially in the depth of things. So you're probably in the depth of this thing. Trying to uncover and understand everything that you've been through. But it's time to come up all, out of all of that. It's because you, it, it's kind of like... Um, it's kind of like you're frustrating yourself, my wonderful uh, Scorpios, right? Because you don't feel like you have it all figured out yet. Mm-hmm. Yep. You don't feel like you have it all figured out yet. You got the seven of uh, wands energy on the board clarifying that. Yeah. You feel like giving up. You feel overwhelmed, maybe even very protective. Okay. You got the um, sun card popping up in reverse. And some of you are probably going through a little temporary depression. Now, if you guys have not been checking out my dailies, you need to do so. Because I do go into the daily energy in the atmosphere. Um, and kind of break down some situations that you can be um, entertaining. That you may not even know that you're tapping into other people's energy. And it's not even yours. Okay. All right. You're going to have to watch how you think in Scorpios. Although you have some beautiful cards on the board, it's saying pay attention to your thinking here. I'm going to go over here to this fool card. Because you in, in their energy, you got somebody over here with new beginnings. Right? You got somebody over here with new beginnings. Okay, for some of you, Right? You got over here in this energy, the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody could be coming in to offer you a job. Some of you may be going back to school. Okay? Some of you may be even taking on maybe some type of position um, where you're coming in at the entry level, but you will work your way up to the top quickly. Okay? So while you over here depressed, this energy over here feel like it's ready to, to offer you something. And this is going to be spon this is going to be spontaneous. Like you may not even see this coming. Uh, see, yep. And they saying here with this seven of cups right here, you're going to have options.
You're going to have options. You're going to have choices. Hmm. Okay, but this is clarified by the Justice card. Where you may have to take accountability for some stuff. Yep. Where things may have felt like it would once unfair. You do have the world card. Things are coming to a completion. Okay. Things are coming to a completion. Okay. This is all about accomplishment. You're going to have to learn how to integrate all of the things that you've been through, my loves. Okay. This right here is about your money. Yeah. They asking you to step up your game with your money. Yeah. They asking you to balance your time. You do have the two of pentacles here. Balance your time. Time management is going to be important. Okay. For some of you, you straight up and down is going to have to do some meditation, honey. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep, you have to do some meditation. You got this King of Swords energy popping up on the board with that King of Swords energy. You, mm. some of you could have been coming out of a situation where it was very um, manipulative or maybe even abusive. Yep, this definitely made you feel like you were left out in the cold, and maybe even financially, this could have probably isolated you. Okay. And maybe walking away from this shit mentally, you're still in that frame of mind where you have to recover from something financially because what you just exited, right? Have you starting over? Like you, you, like yes, yeah, some of you are literally starting over. Okay, they starting over from. What are they starting over from? Mm. You're starting over for someone that came in here like they had their shit together, right? Um, offering you this Ten of Cups, but you found out that it wasn't true. There was a misalignment of values, and this could have been a partnership. This doesn't necessarily have to do a love relationship. This could have been a partnership. This could have been a job situation. This could have been a friendship even, um, okay? Uh but with this king of this king of wands energy, you felt like this person was an upstanding person when they came in, okay? Um, you definitely felt like this person, and you could have been dealing with a Leo, okay? You could have been dealing with a Leo. Um, you also could have been dealing with an Aries, okay? Um... They came in promising you this Ten of Cups, right? But when they came in promising you this Ten of Cups, you found out that this shit wasn't, yeah, this shit wasn't what they promised, okay? And it kind of feels like this person could have came from a broken home. So they, it, it, it could have even be like they came and promised you something that they couldn't even get because they came from a broken ho home. And it's kind of like they don't even know what it, what it's, what it means to, to deal with consequences, Right? Because you got the king of knights here. They have a disregard for consequences. Right? It kind of feels like um, they'll do something and you forgive them, my Scorpio. You know, because you know how we, we you know, we loyal to faults sometimes. They'll do something, you forgive them. 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 Until one day you just don't forgive them no more. They had total lack of disregard for all of this shit that, yeah. And that's probably where this King of Swords energy in reverse is coming from too, okay? You dealing with their shit, um, and they could have been the one manipulating. Or oh, my wonderful Scorpios, you could have been the one manipulating. You could have been the one manipulating, Scorpios. Okay? Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they're saying there was definitely some type of out of balance with your family, your work situation. Okay, maybe even the commitments that you co you committed yourself to, whatever projects, especially group projects or anything to do with maybe money or creating money. There was some type of imbalance there. Okay, my lovelies. But what it's saying here with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, that's fitting the change. Manifestation is yours to have new financial opportunities is yours, okay? But you're going to have to step into a place of having fun and step into your maturity. And I really feel the maturity is all about you understanding that you're worthy for all of them. You're worthy. You are worthy is what I'm hearing, okay? So yeah, Ace of Pentacles is coming in, 
although there was all of this um, out of balance, this person, this person came in like they had their shit together. Shit was all in balance, but you quickly found out um, that it wasn't. You know, or you could have been in this person, this relationship for a long time, um, and then just thinking the person was gonna grow up and change, and they just didn't. All right. But this is saying your Ace of Pentacles is available to you. You're going to have to deal with your feelings and get up out of your feelings. Okay, be very objective in your thinking. This may be a temporary depression, but just it's just because you're stuck in your head about shit. You're replaying negative shit for some of you. For some of you, this may have broken you to the point that you may need to go seek somebody to talk to, counseling, um, a life coach, um, a group of good friends. Okay, you may need to share shit with your friends, get your get your girls together, get your guys together, okay, and just spill it all, okay? All right. So we know here um this is going to open up doors for you where you can have fun, um where you can explore your talents that you had um that you may have put down. Um, this is giving you an opportunity to become mature and really step into your truth, okay? Your truth and step into your strength, all right, my loves? Okay, so we're going to clarify your truth because the truth of the energy of this overall energy is we know that you need to get out your head. We know that you need to deal with your feelings, right? Um, we know this person may have came in um, looking um, like they had their shit together and you found out that this wasn't what this wasn't what it was true and they had very little disregards for your feelings and, and, and even how you your thinking um, how you, you your opinion your opinion may not have counted as much and maybe even the way they spent money too they didn't really give two shits about um, how that made you feel as far as security um, is going to be concerned um, yeah but your ace of Pentacles is coming in. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles is coming in. Okay, clarify the King of Pentacles for my wonderful Scorpios because we know that is in their truth placement. Okay, the truth placement is about the energy that's at hand. Okay, so it's the King of Pentacles. Your security is at hand. Okay, stability, um, power, control, and abundance is all you are to have with this energy. Okay, yep. You got the three of fire energy popping up on the board. The three of fire energy is one's energy, and one's energy is all about your um your intuition. And with the three of fire energy, it's all about preparation. Um, and in you know having foresight. Okay, this is all about you being able to learn from your experiences. Okay, that's clarified by the eight of um pentacles i feel like you got a lot of pentacles on the board this is the second time that the eight of pentacles has showed up and the eight of pentacles is all about like i said maybe you going back to school taking some courses studying some youtube videos about something that you want to do making your hobby into your career or your vocation right um this could be some of you because you've now walked away from this they do have beautiful energy coming here where you're going to have choices for some of you you could be getting engaged now that you've walked away from this stress right here Okay, with the seven of fire energy, okay, aka the seven of wands energy, okay. Um, now over here with seven of wands was in the reverse over here, right? Like you felt like you wanted to give up. Guess what? It's showing up over here saying that you need to release whatever stress so you don't give up, honey. That's all about perseverance through pushing through some shit, okay. And we know Scorpios, we die and come back and transform, baby, okay. So, you do have the king of fire on the board with your overall energy, the creator. That's all about you tapping into your natural born leadership, okay? That's all about you tapping into your truth and not allowing somebody else to create that narrative for you, okay? And you're going to have to do that using this five of fire energy. The five of fire energy, right? Um... You're going to have to totally let go of whatever conflict and disagreement that you've been having. Okay. You're going to have to totally let go of that. Yeah. Um, let me explain to you because I know I said this in another video. Okay. Let's talk about the Gargamels and the Hazels. Okay. Let's talk about the Gargamels and the Hazels before we get into your Nine of Cups energy, okay? Now, with the Gargamels and the Hazels, Hazels are the negative people, okay, that 
wherever you show up, they always got some negative shit to say whenever you see their ass, right? That's Hazel. Whenever you see they ask, they always got some negative shit to say, okay? Gargamel, however, is Gargamel sees your light. Gargamel know you're about to step into some beautiful shit. So what does Gargamel do? Gargamel come looking for your ass to start some trouble. So you're going to have to be very mindful not to become anyone's emotional puppet. That's why it's important for you to grow up because you're no longer the victim. Okay, get get control of your, your feelings, pull up them big girl panties, okay, all right, or maybe get a pair of thongs, okay, yeah, get a pair of thongs if that's what's necessary because you've been wearing grandma drawers, get a pair of thongs if necessary, okay, so you can change state, okay, and step into your sexiness if it's necessary, okay, if you a dude, you may want to go ahead and get some boxes so the shit, you know, the balls could hang and not be all, you know, cupped, all right, this is asking you to grow up. Grow up in your feelings. Grow up in your thinking. You create this shit, okay? You know the work that you've put in. You know the work that you've put in, right? Step back and have some fun. And if you cross watching and this more resonates with you, come on now. You know the work you put in, right? Paint a different fucking picture, man. All right. I, I don't get caught up in all of this uh in your mind thinking. Let me explain something to you guys about energy. Everything is energy, baby. Everything is energy. As a man think it and speak it and feel it so it is. That is the holy trinity of manifestation. What you see with your third eye, your perception, honey, okay? You can, you can manifest, which means if you don't see shit, you can't manifest shit. Okay, and if all you see is pain and heartbreak in relationships, guess what you will manifest, honey? Heartbreak, pain in relationships. Okay, start seeing some new shit. Start painting some new shit. How about that? Start painting some new shit, right? Grow up season. Okay, now with that being said, the throat chakra, right? What you speak, right? What you speak is important, my loves. The reason why what you speak is important because that's vibration, that sound that carries out into the ethers and it draws it to you, right? Now, this heart chakra right here, that's your true brain. This is the one that you need to pay attention to. This is your emotions. This is your feelings. This is really what you tell yourself. So if you're not dealing with your feelings, it don't matter what you imagine up here. It don't matter what you speak here. Because this right here, if this is full of heartbreak, pain, and anger, you will manifest heartbreak, pain, and anger. Okay? It's going to be a different experience with a different face, but with the same energy pattern. This is why you need to get in touch with your emotions and paint a different picture. Okay? It's available to you. We know they lied. Right? We're not going to get stuck in that. Okay? This nine of cups energy is asking you not to get stuck in dissatisfaction and materialism. It's asking you to stay in a state of happiness and wish fulfilled. That is how you get the manifestation. Operating from a place of wish fulfilled. So if you want a healthy relationship, instead of in your free time, right, mulling over in your head how painful this last one was, start creating how beautiful the next relationship is going to be. Because it's going to be filled with honesty. It's going to be filled with love. It's going to be filled with affection. It's going to be filled with compassion. I'm going to have the freedom to be me experience what it feels like in your third eye going out on a date with this person and this energy oh my god this feels so good i've never met someone so beautiful so kind so giving that opens the door for me hell, hell go all the way out with this shit honey this is how you manifest okay if you're sitting in your pain lovelies you will manifest more pain okay I'll tell y'all pain a new picture okay you no longer the victim it's time to mature. You are no longer the victim. Grow up into that strong oak tree that you could be. Okay? All right, my lovelies. Y'all have some wonderful things offered to you um, pertaining to finances, stability, and security. Y'all got pentacles energy all over this board, which means your money's probably on your mind. Okay? And y'all have a green light to go ahead, and it's coming to you. It's just asking you to paint that picture. See that money. See that money dropping up in your bank account daily. I know I do. Okay. Money is energy. Money is creative energy. Okay. And money's not going to show up where it's not loved. Okay. So if you got a problem with money, 
Okay? It ain't gonna come. If you had a problem with money because you don't have none to pay your bills, guess what? It's not gonna show up. If you're always worried about not having enough money, guess what? You will continue to create experience where you don't have enough money. I I understand this this situation right here. They may have fucked you up financially here, but it is saying your ace, right? Whatever they took away from you with this queen of so this queen of um pentacles energy in reverse, you're about to get it all back. Okay, you don't have to operate in this dress no more. You can tap back into your creative power, honey. Creator's here to help you. Use your intuition, baby. And they'll show you where that money is at. Okay. All right, my wonderful Scorpios. I hope this was helpful, guys. Okay. I hope this was helpful. Okay. Make sure that you guys do something kind for yourself. Make sure you love yourself. Okay. Make sure that you drink plenty of water because that's definitely important. I will be posting a... um. A, um, how you can program your water video towards the end of the week so you guys can check that out. Also check out the description box on where you can and how you can win a um, free reading. Uh, also my girl Kim Warner's information is in the description box. She does natal charts. And you can find all the information that you need to schedule a personal reading with me. Okay. All right, my lovelies. I will see you guys in your next individuals. Make sure you guys also check out my dailies. I do daily forecasts about energetic patterns so you can kind of tap into what, what's going on before you leave your house. Okay. And what time, what type of energy you will be interacting with before you leave the house. All right. So make sure you guys check that out. Um, I also posted a video for impacts. If you have not posted that, I'm um, seeing that that's a must watch. So check that out. Also, my lovelies. And I will see you guys in your next individuals and your daily. Once again, make sure to do something kind for yourself. Love yourself. Be kind to yourself. And I will see you guys in your next video. Bye, my loves. Do something kind for yourself. Bye.